Hello and welcome to MathsWithDavid.com. I'm David Swanson and today we're looking at a vectors question from the P1 paper. That's the Cambridge International A-Level Pure Mathematics 1 paper. We'll start by reading through the question. Relative to the origin O, the position vectors of points A and B are given by director vector OA equals 3, 0, minus 4 and director vector OB equals 6, minus 3, 2. 1. Find the cosine of angle AOB. The position vector of C is given by OC equals k minus 2k, 2k minus 3. Part 2. Given that AB and OC have the same length, find the possible values of k. OK, so to start off with, we're going to have to use the dot product formula if we want to find the cosine of angle AOB. And the dot product formula tells us that the cosine of angle AOB equals OA dot OB times by the magnitude of AOA times by the magnitude of OB. So the numerator there, OA dot OB, we simply do component-wise multiplication. So we do 3 times 6 plus 0 times minus 3 plus minus 4 times 2. And then for the product of the magnitudes, we use Pythagoras' theorem and we say the square root of 3 squared plus 0 squared plus minus 4 squared times by the square root of 6 squared plus minus 3 squared plus 2 squared. So on the top we've got 18 plus 0 minus 8 and on the bottom we've got root of 25 plus root of 49. 18 minus 8 is 10 and the roots there give us 5 times 7. So we've got 10 over 35 which is 2 over 7. Now the second part wants us to find the values of k given that a, b and o, c have the same length. So first of all if we think a, b what it's going to be it's going to be minus o, a plus o, b because if we minus OA, that's AO plus OB. AO, OB gives us A, AB. We can draw that geometrically if we've, uh, we've forgotten about that. So AB equals minus OA plus OB, which is, if we take the negatives of all the values in uh, OA, minus 3, minus 0, minus 4, in one column on the left, plus 6, minus 3, 2, which gives us 3, minus 3, 6. So the length of AB, the magnitude of AB using Pythagoras theorem is the square root of 3 squared plus minus 3 squared plus 6 squared, which is the square root of 9 plus 9 plus 36, which is the square root of 54. And if we write that a little bit neater, 54 is 9 times 6, so we can write that as 3 root 6. So if they have the same length, that tells us that OC has magnitude 3 root 6. So again, using Pythagoras' formula on the components of OC, we've got k squared plus minus 2k squared, which is 4k squared, plus 2k minus 3 all squared equals 3 root 6. And then these are both positive uh, because they're, they're both multiples of positive square roots. So no problem with squaring both sides. We get k squared plus 4k squared, expanding the brackets, plus 4k squared minus 6k minus 6k, so minus 12k plus 9 is equal to 9 times by 6. And then getting our k squared terms together, we've got 9k squared minus 12k, and then 1 lot of 9 minus 6 lots of 9 gives us minus 5 lots of 9, so minus 45 is equal to 0. We can divide through by 3 to give us 3k squared minus 4k minus 15 equals 0. And then what we have on the left will factorise. If we put two brackets there, put in the 3k and put in the k, we know we need to get 15. Factors of 15 are either 15 and 1 or 5 and 3. 5 and 3 are the ones that are going to be useful to us here. We just need to check we put them in the right brackets to get 3k plus 5 times by k minus 3. And that tells us that the roots there are k equals 3 or minus 5 over 3. They're the two possible values for k. And then in terms of where the marks are assigned, in the first part we got what, get one method mark for accurately, accurately getting the numerator through the component-wise multiplication. We get one method mark for accurately getting the, for, for getting the denominator using uh, Pythagoras' theorem there. And then one accuracy mark for getting the final answer of 2 over 7. 
In the second part, we get an accuracy mark for getting the vector AB as 3 minus 3, 6. We then get a method mark for the use of moduli on the vector OC. Another method mark for obtaining a quadratic equation, even if the numbers aren't quite right. And then an accuracy mark for getting the accurate values 3 and minus 5 over 3 for K. So I hope that's been useful. We have uh, plenty of P1, Pure Mathematics 1 questions worked through on the website. So please have a browse through those at www.mathswithdavid.com. Any questions you've got about the video project or about any specific items in the video, please feel free to write them below. Uh, and we'll put some links at the end so you can go to a playlist of Pure Mathematics 1 work solutions or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel to get updated on these, these type of videos. Thanks very much for your attention and we'll see you in the next video.